What's up YouTube, Alex here, back with another video. I'm going to be starting a series called Monthly Favorites, where I break down recent pickups or anything that I've been wearing a lot. I'm going to talk about clothes, music, podcasts, movies, any of that, anything of that nature that I've been into the current month. So you guys could kind of like get to know more about me and maybe we can talk about some stuff we have in common in the comments. So I'm gonna start with clothes and I'm already wearing two of the things that I've been wearing a lot this month. So it's this Attack on Titan shirt that my brother made. He has a clothing brand called Midnight Star Inc. and he makes cool anime tees and shit. So I've been wearing it a lot to the gym and just out in general. It's a really nice fit and really good quality. Also, I've been wearing beanies a lot, specifically this one. I just, it's just a regular black beanie, but I threw in, um, I threw on some pins from My Hero Academia and One Piece. And it's kind of been like my gym fit, you know, oversized tee, hoodie, beanie, sweatpants. I've also been wearing this other beanie that my cousin Abby made me. She kind of like screen printed it. Um, not really, she used a Cricut maker to print but it's just this really cool like DIY beanie and I've been wearing it a lot. Next up, I've been wearing this necklace a lot. I got it for Christmas, so I've been wearing it a lot in January. It's just a black necklace with these cool crystals on the bottom. They're like purple and green. I've been wearing it a lot. It goes pretty much with everything. And I slowly want to get back into jewelry because I stopped wearing it for like a year. Next up is two pairs of shoes. So I've been wearing these military boots a lot. They're just black and green. They go really hard. They pretty much go with a lot of outfits as well because they're black. They're also pretty uncomfortable though, so I have been wearing them a lot, but it's just for the fit. <laughs> Definitely not for comfort, but those are pretty sick. I got them at a military surplus store last year and I've just been wearing them a lot recently and in the winter time. So next up is some Under Armour boots. These are super sick. I got them a few weeks ago as a gift. Um, the silhouette goes crazy. You can wear these with a lot of different combinations of outfits like tech wear and also you can wear them with a comfortable outfit like a hoodie and sweats. I think they're super cool to wear to the gym or just out if you're hanging with friends. Yeah, those are really sick. Next up is this tote bag. My cousin Abby, the same one that made that beanie, she also made me this tote. I've been wearing it a lot. So Super Mario, and then it has a TF for my brand, Twisted Fantasy. She threw that in there. Super cool bag. I love how it looks with the spray paint and like how messy it looks. I've been wearing it just to carry like my books or like water bottles and stuff like that when I go out. So now I'm going to start with three tops and then three bottoms. So I've been wearing this military liner a lot and you're going to see it in my next video where I go thrifting with my girlfriend and it just goes really well with everything. In my opinion, um, I love the military style and it's very lightweight and comfortable. Next is this brown vintage Russell zip up hoodie. So this hoodie and a lot of the things I've shown so far, you can pretty much wear with anything. Um, it's very comfortable. It's a nice kind of oversized fit, really nice brown color. And that color is like in right now everyone likes it my girlfriend's always trying to take that hoodie and my brother is <laughs> it's a really cool hoodie and i recommend getting like a brown oversized russell hoodie I and mean, i had a black one too and a gray one but i don't know what happened to those <laughs> but this brown one i've been wearing a lot next is this one of one piece i made for my clothing brand twisted fantasy it's based on the game dead by daylight and me and my girlfriend used to play it for like two years in a row on our phones or like a year and we always used to be like, let's play dead because I just shortened everything instead of saying dead by daylight. But so in the back I painted, it says, let's play dead. And then on the front, I threw in a ton of cool patches and horror characters. It's a really cool piece. Every time I wear it out, people ask about it. Like, where'd you get that? Did you make it? Um, Unfortunately, I just sold it to someone, but I've been wearing it as much as I could until I have to let go. I definitely plan on making more horror pieces like that in the future for myself and then also for Twisted Fantasy. So now with the pants, I'll start with these LL Bean nylon track pants. They fully zip from the bottom to the top on the sides. 
they're super comfy they are a little bit too long on me but i've been wearing them with boots and i just fold fold them in a little bit and it looks like a cool baggy look if not they'll, they'll look pretty stupid because they're so long on me but same with this as i've been saying i could wear these with a lot of different outfits um they go really well with those military boots and the hurley uh under armor boots as well next is these jeans i made myself um for twisted fantasy again they're hentai denim so extremely inappropriate but that's why i like it this is from fallout a game i love it says 18 out and up um these are crazy my girlfriend hates when i wear these out in public but i've been wearing them a lot they're just super comfortable because they're um i made them on a vintage pair of denim so they're very like soft and they they were already paint splattered and torn so i think it's super cool because they're like an explicit pair and the whole vibe of the jeans just goes really well together next up is these other pair of jeans that i made um if you're an attack on titan fan you'll like it team levi and then here it says levi fan club a ton um they're just super cool i've been wearing them a lot as well um, I've definitely been wearing the hentai denim more <laughs> because those are a bit crazier and I like the color and the fit. But yeah, I've been wearing these a lot too and I've just been really into customizing my own clothes and wearing what I make. I wanted to show some sunglasses but I can't find them right now of course. Um, but I got them at Goodwill the other day um, for like a few cents or a dollar probably. Um, but they're super cool. I'll, you'll see them in another video. So I'll show this instead. Um, I don't know what it is exactly. Um, me and my girlfriend went to Tampa and we, it was this clay place, I mean, pottery place. And basically we just chose something that was already made and we painted it. So I painted it like this. I don't know, it just is a cool like earth piece vibe. Um, it's a really small space in the middle. So, you know, you can use it for like rings and stuff, but it's just on my desk right now. And it's really cool. And I want to get more into like art and sculptures and shit so next it's books and it's taking me a long time to finish this one but it's the snowball warren buffett in the business of life by alice schroeder um super awesome book i definitely recommend it um i'm actually rereading it now and then i'm going to move on to my next book um so i'll talk about that next month but this book is awesome um if you don't know anything about warren buffett it talked about his from his childhood all the way till currently and just the stories were very powerful to me and everything he went through there's definitely a lot you can learn from someone like warren buffett he didn't write the book someone wrote it while like interviewing him um but there's definitely a lot you can learn i definitely recommend the book the so next is movies i don't think i saw that many movies this month i've just been watching a lot of like business youtube videos and screen printing youtube videos but I did see The Wolf of Wall Street, not for the first time, but I saw it like twice this month. Literally, I saw it and then I saw it the next day again with uh, my family. I just love this movie. It's freaking crazy. So yeah, The Wolf of Wall Street was super cool. I love this movie. It's probably in my top five right now. I just love the story of like how you can just keep moving forward and he gets like super rich. I mean, obviously he's scamming people, but he learns his lesson and I've actually been now I'm going to move on to the podcast that I've been listening to. And I've been listening to Jordan Belford's podcast, The Wolf's Den. And he's the guy from Wolf of Wall Street, if you didn't know. Um, but I love the story that he has, that he was able to turn around his life. Um, and it's kind of like not too late for anyone. And now he, he makes a lot of cool YouTube content, interviews other business people and celebrities. And he teaches about sales and stuff, so I'm, I've been really into that lately. The other podcast I've been listening to a lot uh, is called PBD Podcast, and it's with Patrick Ben David. He has another YouTube channel called Value Tainment, and I've been watching that for years, but I recently got into his podcast that he also does. And I'll throw up some of my favorite ones that I've been watching. There was one of Kobe. He interviewed Kobe, and it's called Kobe's Last Great Interview. And me, I'm someone who doesn't know anything about sports. I don't care for it but the interview was so powerful. It had me in tears like many times. I also really like Patrick as a speaker. I've been watching a lot of people on YouTube recently and I think he's definitely my like number one go-to person to watch right now. So I'll close off the video of my favorites of the month with some music. 
Um, there's gonna be music from some of my friends that make music and it goes hard and some other popular artists that you'll know. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next few days for the next one. It's gonna be a thrift haul with my girlfriend. Um, and then make sure to send in your outfits for the next fit rating video. I'm gonna be rating it. I'm gonna be rating the outfits with my friend Nav and then my sister-in-law Layla. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.